huge range of uh, creative design, uh, niche manufacturing industries, and some of them also related to the sciences and to medical sciences. And in, in that area, there is massive opportunity for our city and for entrepreneurs in our city, uh, for black ethnic minority entrepreneurs, to get going and to make their name. Now, what are, they, what, what are the barriers? What are the, the things we need to do to make sure that people can get going in the way that they, they want it? We need finance. Access to finance. How long have I got? How long have I got left? I'm going to be two more minutes. I'll be very, very quick. Uh, access to finance, and we can help there. We've got a 25 million pound access to finance scheme. We're going to talk a bit later on. I know Sonia is going to talk about what we can do to make sure the banks uh, understand a bit more and a bit more appreciative of some of the uh, suggestions that are being made uh, by the entrepreneurs that, that come to them. Uh, we need to make sure that we help people export. We're an ambitious city, aren't we? People have great visions for their, their products, and so one of the things we want to do, and Kit Maltaus is leading on that for us in City Hall, is to help you help people to export their products. We need people to overcome the, the terrible chasm that seems to befall so many young enterprises when they face the prospect of expansion, and that, that terrible moment when they try to scale up and, and things go wrong. And we spend a lot of a lot of money on helping uh, with that problem. With the, we've got about in the next, I think, in the next five years, something like 170 million pounds of ERDF, that's European money, is being spent on on helping uh, small businesses, uh, in particular black and minority ethnic uh, businesses, with that uh, with that problem. But the final thing we all need in our lives, what's we, what do we all need? We need encouragement. We need to believe that we can do it. And the most vivid way of achieving that is to have role models and people who are actually making it and achieving it in the way that we want to do ourselves. And that's why it's so important tonight uh, that we've, we've got uh, these fantastic people here, uh, these entrepreneurs, each in their own different and amazing ways. Uh, Natasha Faith is going to talk in here just after me about some of the things that she, that she does. Wait! There's one thing I left out. <laughs> added, added, uh, out. There's one, one, what you, you said that, you challenged me in the mayor's den. Uh, you challenged me, you said, could we ensure that at least 10% of all uh, contracts went to black firms? Is that what you said? Yes. 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 Oh, we have. Because uh, according to, to GLA statistics, which I never doubt, <laughs> the awards in London are made to compete for under compete for to our suppliers here in London, 13.4% of them have gone to businesses that have declared themselves BAME. There you go. 30 for that's over 10% already. I can, see, I can see that statistic is met with a certain amount of incredulity. That is what it says in my brief, ladies and gentlemen. I am not going to deviate from it. I have to deviate from it. London is, it's in my view, it's the greatest city on earth. It's a city of incredible opportunity. It's growing the whole time. The economy is changing uh, and developing the whole time in favour of entrepreneurship and dynamism. We are supporting it in City Hall in every possible way that we can. And uh, I know that, uh, that you guys are going to do fantastic things after you've been inspired tonight. It was the, the, the American President George W. Bush who said, there is no French word for entrepreneur. <laughs> you're not quite right there. Uh, uh, you're not quite right about many things. Uh, but what we can certainly say is that we in this city have some of the br most brilliant, some of the most brilliant entrepreneurs uh, in the black community anywhere in the world. And I hope very much that we will inspire thousands, tens of thousands more to take our city forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Boris. We'll take you up on that. one of those entrepreneurs who have taken it forward and is growing a very successful business which she's going to talk to you about is Natasha Faith. Big round of applause for Natasha. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a creative so I don't have any notes or pens or papers. I'm deathly afraid of making notes um, 